welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking on this video and for watching it so i just did this makeup tutorial and um i thought why not before i do my skincare routine before sleeping i show you guys so it's just a sort of a one bullet two birds what <laughs> one bullet two birds sort of thing right something like that shoot a bird two birds with one bullet I know it's that but I don't know I can't remember the exact phrase anyways so if you want to keep uh, watching and see my whole skincare routine and how I take care of my skin before sleeping then keep on watching so I've just put my hair up in a bun taken off my lashes and uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to double cleanse so before I double cleanse I'm going to remove my makeup with a cream cleanser uh, and use that same cream cleanser cream cleanser to um, massage it into my face and do a uh, almost three to five minute ma massage because I watched this video from um, LA beautyologist uh, the golden RX on YouTube you need to follow her if you haven't for all skincare tips she is a prof professional esthetician esthetician I think that's how you pronounce it um, and she gives professional advice on YouTube so if you want professional reliable advice on YouTube head on over to her channel so um, the cream cleanser that I will be using is the Herb Day cleansing cream by an aloe by the face shop I love the face shop so what I will be doing is I will be taking a little and I don't share this with anyone in my family and I'm gonna be breaking down the makeup by like massaging it in now I'll use um face towel dipped in warm water and I'll wipe it off then I'll go in again this is my face towel so it's I dipped it in warm water I'd say a lot of makeup off my face and now I'm gonna go in again with the same cream cleanser and massage this into my face for about three to five minutes it's really uh, amazing actually what I found the golden RX is because I didn't I never knew this but what you're supposed to do and what she came up with is the 60 second rule where you massage your face cleanser for foaming cleanser whatever it is that you have for 60 seconds or more that's why I'm going for three to five minutes I I I, I can go longer also and only that will actually remove the dirt from your pores and this helps with hyperpigmentation this helps with your scars this helps with your pores this helps with um, acne uh, it's supposed to help with everything and at first I was like mm, will it really help with everything because it's oil and you're putting oil on oily skin right especially if you have acne and she was like she explained you really need to watch her video she explained how, how only the oil from an oil cleanser can remove or pull out the dirt and the oil that is stuck in your pores so I and then what else she said was that about 20% of people will experience this thing where they get suds and suds are like actual you know when you have blackheads and then you pop it and then like the sud comes out the dirt inside the pores come out and they're like white and blackish I, she says that 20% of people will actually experience this when oil cleansing and I experienced it like the first day that I tried it so I massaged my face for almost 15 minutes that first time and I got so many suds off my face I can feel it now as well but also I am getting makeup off 
not only studs but you can actually you actually get like like black studs like they're actually you can see the, it's, you you know the difference between like um dirt on your face and studs like because studs look like like pimples like little tiny blackheads that have come out and dirt looks like dirt studs look like actual studs and let's see if i get any so i'm gonna be massaging this for a while around five minutes since I've been doing this and I've gotten a considerable amount of um, dirt and suds off my face I wish you could see the suds but they're so I don't know if you can see that that I don't know if you can see that they're so tiny but insanely they look just like the insides of my blackheads so anyway so I'm gonna now uh, wipe this off again with a oh, washcloth and then I'm gonna go in with a foam cleanser but I'm not gonna wash my face with a foam, foam cleanser on camera because I need to do that in front of a sink otherwise this place is gonna get all wet so I've gotten that off now I'm gonna go in with a foam cleanser and my foam cleanser will be the herb day again same line uh, cleansing foam in acerola acerola that's the roller. I don't know. So I'll be right back after doing this. So I'm done with washing my face. And what I'll go in first is with my toner. Uh, this is the plum green tea alcohol free toner. Now, I'm just taking it on my hand because you don't want to waste. <gasps> you don't want to waste product putting it in a, a cotton because it absorbs a lot of the product instead of it going into your face so toner is basically what a basic toner should be doing is just to give you moisture like to hold the moisture in your skin and when it holds the moisture it allows the other products to seep in deeper into your skin so nowadays toners are like uh, they do many different things but that's a basic toner so my toner here is an alcohol free toner and it also has glycolic acid so it's a chemical exfoliating toner, toner because it has glycolic acid in it and it's got really good ingredients like glycerin and green tea whatever. but you, you should check this out so I really like it and then so now because I just did a lot of makeup what I am going to do is I'm going to apply a mask and I've applied the toner first first because um, the toner will allow the mask to seep in better so I'm using this is the the ordinary mask um, the AHA 30% and BHA uh, 2% a peeling solution so this is a very very amazing mask because it um, it exfoliates your skin and it does really really well like honestly I love this mask because uh, you get you have you have to use it only like once a week and it exfoliates it's like a micro exfoliator so it, you, your skin won't actually peel Oh, but it will throughout the week you won't see the peeling but there will be peeling so you're just supposed to leave this on for 10 minutes and then go in with your next product so I'll just see you in 10 minutes I'm back so I just rinse that off with some warm water after 10 minutes and you're not supposed to apply it for uh, more than 10 minutes because it's a chemical exfoliant and I forgot to mention also that uh, with any AHAs and BHAs uh, you it let me read this it has a sunburn alert so I mean it makes your skin uh, sensitive so you have to apply sunscreen the next day if you're going out into the sun 
I would suggest not going out into the sun at all the next day, especially the next day after doing this and you should only ever apply a chemical exfoliating mask at night but if you do have to go out the next day, apply lots of sunscreen and reapply your sunscreen during the day as well and try to wear a hat or something that will uh, protect your face. So next, according to Nye uh, from the Golden Rx, you tone again. So that's what I'll be doing. So that the products that I will apply after this again will seep in better. If I didn't apply a mask, I would go in my exfoliating serum by Paula's Choice. Um, it's a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. It has it has a salicylic acid in it. So this is really really good and really nice, but it's quite expensive. But still, it really works really well for me. But uh, because I already went in with the exfoliating mask, I'm not going to do that. So next, what I will go straight into is my vitamin C serum. So I've been using this vitamin C serum by Dot & Key. It's the Glow Revealing Vitamin C uh, Serum Concentrate. So it has Kakadu Plum and Acerola Cherry. Same thing that was in my face wash, but I can't seem to pronounce it. Some uh, influences on Instagram. Uh, it's called Emoline. It's really cute. Uh, it's a cream for dry skin treatment. So I really like to apply this, especially uh, during the night, because it's it's actually has a very light texture, lightweight texture. It, it it's not very um, uh, thick at all, but it's very hydrating. So.